I mean, she's uh, top 10 in program history and block, so I'm sure with the defense they're going to need today, they're happy to have her on the floor. The leading returning score, rebounder, assists, as well as shot blocker from last year, as you alluded to. She mentioned just how they've been able to play well against other teams, as that's a nice look from the top of the key for the Knowles. Absolutely, but it also gives a lot of opportunity for these young players to be able to come into their own and have a lot of responsibility this season. And, uh, you know, that's, a, that's an adjustment that's tough to do. Dish on the inside to Valencia Meyer. She can't connect. And finally, one goes down as Boston College gets the nice look. That's one's coming from Andrea Daly. For Florida State, they have five. Had a couple of players that also transferred out of their program. But when you look at the experience and the depth that they have on the bench as well. Be disruptive. And here you see great ball movement from the Seminoles. It leads to the wide open corner three. Uh, Coach Mack said that she saw that from Taina Mare in the NC State game. Ali Van Timmeren at the buzzer. Hit at two Eastern. Then it's a top 25 matchup between fourth ranked Notre Dame and 22 ranked North Carolina. Sunday afternoons are for women's basketball on the ACC network. O'Brien tried to work baseline, nothing there. Went against Daly. I think she got a hand on it there. The scoop rolls around and finally falls. Got caught for the reach. That's a great pass by Tyena Mayer, who sees the floor. So great for a freshman. Payne is able to walk away with two points and brings it within two. See if they can get a stop here. The nice look on the other end. But no, Florida State with a nice triple as the quarter comes to zero. You can understand that they can score at a high clip from different levels on the floor. Right away, Latson at the rim. That's actually her first field goal of the ball game. We talked about her efficiency from the free throw line. So Latson now with four. The Eagles with a nice little response of their own. A spike in the production that she's been able to give the Eagles a season. Latson ahead of everyone gets the deuce. You know, if they can get rebound missed shots or get some steals and get out in transition, uh, it's what they would like to do. Wagoner connects on the layup. Our best defense is in our offense as well. For sure, you have to be selective with your shots, making sure that you're getting your best shot when everyone's ready, ready to rebound, ready to get back. Well, how about Dontavia Wagoner ready for anything? Jasmine, I do think they're like pumping us in the arena at this I point. I know, I think she heard us <laughs> talking about her. She's like, I'm gonna start finishing these now. <laughs> Vajetti with another three. Ali Van Timmeren dishes it off. A nice look underneath sharing the ball as McGee is now on the board for the Eagles. I think, too, just building off of that as well, they understand your style of play, but then also coming in as young players, understanding how to challenge one another. You just have that confidence to say someone has my back. So that's really awesome to see that. For Westlake sure. is a powerhouse. I'm in the Georgia area to see them be able to dominate in that way. And they actually made it to four straight. Getting the ball down low to Gakdang would be a good decision. And there you see her with the, the nice strong finish after getting a great position. I think they should look for some more of that. They've knocked down three triples. Eagles only have one and that came from Van Timmeren. Until then. Another look on the inside. How about Ali Van Timmeren? Driving baseline. How about this run, Boston College? Pretty good one to me. <laughs> I don't know if Boston College was asked for a better way to end the half. They are currently on a 13-0 run. I would like to see Florida State really crank up their defense, um, really show the energy that they're, they want to make a run soon. And this is going back and forth. This looks like an easy two that's going to go up and does for Latson.
skip pass to the corner for Wagoner. Finding her teammates up the floor, making a defensive play, a rebound, hitting a big shot. She is just truly that X factor for this Florida State team. It comes down to big plays that lead to even bigger buckets. Aaron Howard with the steal on one end. I mean, I love former players as coaches just because you can relate to the experience, you know? And she talks about having that family atmosphere and the relationships that she's built with her players. Before the timeout, they have the three-point lead as Gordon mishandles the ball. But Timpson, as we said in the open, said, I got your back and cleans it up for the two. For, for women's basketball in the ACC Network. Timpson again gets the ball back as she gets it. Back-to-back -back buckets. Uh, seems like she might be feeling it a little bit here, running off that momentum that her team has right now. Momentum indeed, third quarter. They have outscored Boston College 20 to six. Boston College looking for that high-low action that they talked about. Oh, <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> that might make the highlight reel. But you know, she's fighting down there with her size advantage, gets great position and just flips it up and in. You talked about the size advantage that she had. High-low opportunity for Wagner, and there it is, the exact same play. And there it is, they score off of it again. I think they should keep going to it. Because you just <laughs> dialed it up and drew it up just how they were going in the huddle with it, with Wagner stepping up I mean, for the bucket. Mayer. Daly's really helping them by getting a lot of extra possessions on those offensive rebounds. What a possession <laughs> for the Eagles. Yeah, I'll sign that with you. <laughs> <laughs> Right out of the gate, Bajetti, who just continues to pile on the point. Boston College entering today's game against Florida State, who's re receiving votes after taking down number 10, NC State. Timpson trying to avoid the upset. The first quarter you saw was a little slow start for all knows in the first half, but erupted in the third. And sometimes it's just contagious. There has been some contact on some of these finishes, so I know that it's going to be hard to think that there's no fouls happening. You know, we got to just stay aggressive. She has to stay aggressive. And the only contact on the other side was Bear getting the bottom of the net. Right in the passing lane. And it gets the bucket to go. Aaron Howard. Underneath, beautiful play action and the nice finish by Jojo Lacey. Mayer at the top of the key. She was hot in the third quarter, dishes it off. Ooh. How about it? Andrea Daly with a huge three. If he, she was able to catch that and come down and get a layup, that's perfect. Uh, but you know, it kind of was a long pass. She didn't feel good about it. Boston College up three, looking for their second straight upset. Sends it to Bajetti. You bet! Ties the ball game with 40 seconds left. 10 on the shot clock. Meyer. She said, I want to feed the hot hand. Latson in and out. <laughs> We've got overtime. Woo. And Chestnut Hill. Mayer. Daly all the way to the rim. First on the board and extra minutes of play. So if you can save her from fouling out, you're going to do that. Tip from behind. Eagles with numbers. Mayer dishes it off. Spin move on the inside. Maybe Whoop. one spin too many, but gets it to go. Ten on the shot clock. Van Timmeren. So if you ask her, she wants to win here at County Forum. Latson dishes on the inside to Timpson. Timpson rolls that one in from the free throw line in overtime. Latson continues to struggle. But Florida Gordon. State still fighting. Gordon. 
Jordan misses it. Guess who's there? But Jetty. Five point lead. I'm sure quick score is the. I mean, I would think Florida State was going for just the quickest score that they can get, but just can't really find the, the open shot. So Gordon, nothing there, and a timeout called. Wise timeout instead of trying to dribble out of the traffic. <laughs> ends up in free throws for Van Timmeren. Van Timmeren struggling. Shot 50% from the free throw line today. One for three at this point. Back iron on that. And this will break the 20 points or more streak for Tanaya Latson. How about a travel right off that top screen? Okay. And just their attention and execution of the game. And you know, sometimes you come off a big win and you have a drop off. They came into this game and they stayed focused, stayed together as a team. Boston College has really had a good game today. Um, and that last second call is no good. And Boston College, they do it. They get their first win against Florida State at home. And their back-to-back -back upset wins in conference play.